This is MFR Off-Road Rider back with another video. I'm out on Dyerville Loop Road today trying to get a video in between the rain showers. I'm on the uh, Honda CRF 300L Rally 2021 model. I got 4,564 4, miles on it and I'm averaging 62.8 miles to the gallon. I'm up to 1,056 subscribers and this will be my 369th video. So yeah, let's get going. Let's get on the, this ride here. It wasn't supposed to rain as much as it has today. But it is what it is. This road here runs between uh, the uh, Avenue of the Giants and then uh, through Founders Grove and then up over the hill to, and then it comes out on Fruitland Ridge and then drops back down to uh, the Avenue of the Giants. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos. Give me thumbs up, all the positive comments, much appreciated. I talked last week about why you should have a dual, why you should look into a dual sport adventure bike, and uh, and then I got to thinking about uh, there's another option as well. Look at that waterfall pretty cool couple of them that's pretty neat look at that dang anyway uh, another option would be a scrambler if you're not sure if you want to do all off-road and you want an on-road bike that can do some off-road a scrambler would be another good option this roads pretty narrow spots but uh, they've gotten a lot better with the scrambler models that they have uh, they've gotten a little more off-road capable than they were they used to just call them a scrambler and they weren't really made to go off-road they're just just for looks but I like the, the retro look of the scrambler versus the dual sports or the adventure bikes they look a lot more retro but uh, that would be another option to check out uh, if you're looking for doing a little bit of off-road or learning to do some off-road and trying it out and not sure if you're going to like it or not. That would be a good option to try because they're more, they're better, they're better on-road than uh, off, but you can do off-road. They do have a few little setbacks, like uh, they don't they don't have a 21 inch front wheel. Most of them have either 19 or 17, I think. But that's just so they will perform better on the road than off. But they've got you know spoked spoked wheels and stuff. They do have some scramblers that have cast wheels too. But I would definitely go with the. Uh, the spoked if you're gonna do any off-roading at all <clears throat> but I guess they say that the cast wheels are getting a lot better I mean they they came out with the uh, the BMW uh, 1300 GS and it has uh, it comes with cast Big Rock Moto got one that has cast wheels so I'm kind of curious on those, how well those are going to work out for for serious off-road, whether they'll bend or break or whatever. Oh, there's a boat right there. But, uh, yeah, it's just another option uh, to check out. There's quite a few scramblers out, you know. Uh, Triumph has a couple, and uh, even... Uh, the Royal Enfield Himalayan has a Scram 411 and and the Desert X by Ducati. So there's there is a few quite a few options.
Oh, and don't forget about the Benelli uh, Lee Encino 500 Trail. That's another one. It's pretty decent. It looks pretty nice. You definitely have some options as far as uh, off-road. You know, you could choose a few different bikes. Still be able to do comfortable on road and and some off road and some off road as well. Well, they really opened this up when they logged it. You can see a lot farther now. This is another road that's that's uh, maintained by the county as well, so it stays in pretty good shape. It's a little windy today too, as well as showers here and there. Hopefully, I can keep the the lens clean or free from oh wow we're here already wow that was quick and then this road here goes back to the Avenue of the Giants via Fruitland Ridge you can either take a left at the next fork and that'll take you to Fruitland Fruitland Ridge and then up up towards um, Fort Seward and then you could take that off and cut off to the to the right and go to Alder Point Road I didn't realize that was such a short road whoa that was a big drop right in the face I had my visor up because it was starting to get fogged up a bit. I always like the the scrambler style because they look more retro, old school bikes, but they you know they have the off-road capability, which is awesome. Man, can't keep my visor from steaming up. So that was such a short uh, off-road video on Diver Loop Road. I'll just go ahead and finish my video when I come to the, uh, here it is right here. This is a fork. You take the right, takes you back down to Avenue of the Giants, and that way it goes to Fruitland Ridge and out towards Fort Seward. Hopefully they'll come out with some some of the bikes they say they're coming out in 2025 hopefully they uh, do make it out and get released
I tell you what, when you got uh, when you got the redwood needles and uh, a w wet pavement, it makes for a slick condition. That's for sure. And you also got to watch out for the where they take the tar and patch the cracks in the highway when it's raining they're pretty slick I hit hit one and it just shook my bike pretty good boy my visor won't keep from steaming up and if I raise my visor up it the water dripping off the branches are pretty good size and they hit you in the face you feel it. We're supposed to get uh, over an inch of rain tomorrow as well, so I figured I'd better get out and do it do a video today because I probably wouldn't be able to tomorrow unless I want to get wet better clean the lens again I don't know if it's I don't know if it's uh, getting raindrops on it or not Yeah, leave a comment in the comment section uh, what you think about the scramblers that they ha that are out and that they have out. If you'd be interested in them or not, uh, I'm definitely interested just for the looks of them. Yeah, you can't carry the amount of luggage and stuff, but. That's not that big a deal. There's lots of soft luggage and stuff that, that'll work. That'll work. We're back to uh, the avenue of the Giants now. Between Myers Flat and... Uh, between Myers Flat and Miranda. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers again for watching my videos. Give me thumbs ups, all the support of my channel. Much appreciated. I normally do videos on Saturday or Sunday. And yeah, it just depends on the weather and stuff. And last week, the weather was 
pretty shit pretty bad so I wasn't able to get a video in but uh, I normally post on my community page saying you know that I'm not gonna be doing a video or whatever so check my my community page I would normally put up pics of my of my rides you know pictures from my ride so yeah hit that like subscribe and that notification bell for the release of the next video this is MFR off-road rider see you on the next one later